right, it's time to talk a little science today. Chemical Kim, dressed to the nine, is here to show us a fun experiment using aluminum foil. And you you did aluminum across this whole thing. What am I, I did. I'm adorning you with oh, aluminum. Sweet. I, you know, because we're showing our wealth here. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, don't, don't you feel wealthy just wearing aluminum? Don't you yes. Just feel, like, does, don't you feel as if, like, I just gifted you something <laughs> so incredible, Lauren? <laughs> That's gorgeous. Yes. I know. And you laugh. Yeah. I like the light that comes up. You I know. This? Oh, we're illuminated. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, you laugh, but one time aluminum was actually more expensive than gold. Is that right? Yeah. Not, like, just a little over 100 years ago. Now people are throwing That's it crazy. away I know. right after a barbecue. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. And not only was it more expensive than gold, but it was actually, it's actually the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust. Not element. Not, or, yeah, element, but the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust. Why? Wow. Okay, Most so you're going to do, what are you doing with it today? Well, I'm going to teach you a little science with the aluminum. Okay. And especially how we use it with packaging and so forth. Um, but in regards to why it was so expensive at one time, what I have here is aluminum oxide. Okay. And aluminum loves oxygen, as most metals do. Okay, so in the Earth's crust, what we find is not pure aluminum. Okay. So that was a challenge to chemists. But, you know, chemists are so genius that we came up with the process just a little over 100 years ago, of actually getting aluminum from out of its oxide. Okay. And so now we have this pure aluminum, right? Cool. Right. So we use it in packaging, and we use it around the kitchen. And, you know, is there any concern? I mean, do we have to be concerned with aluminum? Well, I don't know. Do we? Yeah, do we? Let, let's investigate this. Okay. Let's investigate this. So I actually um, went extreme here, Lauren, and I put uh, an aluminum can which of course, you know, we use for pop containers. I put it in some acid, some pretty strong acid. And look at that. And wow. you, you know, you're like, whoa, is my food going to do that? Right. right. Do you have acidic foods in your... Yeah, we do. Yeah. I, I hear the commercials about how it wrecks your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> well, and chewing on this would wreck your teeth too, I imagine. Oh. Um, <laughs> could you imagine soaking your teeth in this? No. So yeah, so this is extreme, but we do have acids in pop. Yeah, so we do have acids on top. So what you see that manufacturers will do, and I even went as far as to be really, really cool with my science oh here. My Look gosh. at that, Lawrence. That is the most amazing. Is there plastic on the inside? Yes, yes. We do put a liner into the aluminum can okay. to prevent that acidity of the pop from attacking the aluminum. Okay. Okay. Right, so what are we gonna we're going to use the strength of science. We're going to do some that? fun science with you. Absolutely. And you and I are going to do a contest. I want to see who's stronger here, Lauren. Okay. And on the count of three, we're going to try and rip these cans. Ready? One, two, three. Go ahead. Oh, my gosh. I'm wow. So, uh-huh. Why are you so surprised? Where did you get the strength from? <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. I can't I, I can't seem to what? rip my can. Come, you well, took something out here, of it. Let's try that again. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I did it. I did it. I okay. Feel, I, I feel relieved now. I have the strength <laughs> of science. I do. And I'll let you do the last one. Okay. Okay. So kind of cool, cool science, right? Ripping yeah. cans apart. I feel strong. We Exactly. Exactly. So I'm going to teach you a little science behind this. And it's really fun science. And it really does also show this behavior of aluminum with acid. But this is actually a copper solution. All okay. right. You got 30 seconds, okay. girl. And what we're going to do. Let's see it. Watch this. This is, this is like. 10 seconds of a reaction. I'm going to put a little bit of aluminum in there. Uh-huh. And watch. What oh, do you see? What do you see right it's away? It's starting to destroy it. It is. In a oh. sense, it's reacting. But it's actually a single exchange between aluminum and copper. Okay. Oh. And that's the trick I did in the can is I etched the plastic. And then I put a little bit of this in and let the aluminum react, go into solution. And then, boom, look outside of this oh, I have that's, now. Oh, just that's copper. scary. Just copper. Looks like something on, you know, a cartoon, something. <laughs> you know Ooh, what I mean? Don't you feel science-y? I do. Very, Especially very when cool. I have the glasses on. <laughs> hey, you can find more of these experiments from Kim on our website at WZZF13.com. We'll be right back. <laughs>